Hi, this is Dale with Computer Aftercare, and today I want to show you how to prevent crypto locker variants such as CryptoWall on your computer by using a program called CryptoPrevent. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up my Chrome browser here. I'm already on the website here called The Foolish IT. I'll include that link in the description below the video. And we're going to go to this link here in this drop down menu called the Free and Premium Editions under Crypto Prevent Malware Prevention. As you can see, they have anything from free on up to some very expensive lifetime uh, products here. But I'm going to show you the free version. It's up to you if you want to purchase anything. I don't sell this. So we're going to go ahead and click download. And here in Chrome, my downloads are going to show down here in the lower left. And it's done, so I'm going to click that and run it. Click yes. Go ahead and click next to start the setup. Accept the agreement. Next. Everything's pretty much default for what I'm going to show you here. And install. It's a very small program. Now, since I'm showing you the free version, we're going to answer no here. We did not purchase a product key. And right now, I'm not interested in purchasing one, so we'll just say no here. And click OK to select your protection level. The easiest way for you to use this for now to learn it is use the default set it and forget it protection, which it's already set for. So just click apply. Now before we actually do that, one other thing you'll need to know about this is over here where it says updates, check for updates. Right now, no application updates were found. We just downloaded, downloaded the latest version here. So. so we're going to click Apply. And it's recommending here that we disable Windows Sidebar and Desktop Gadgets because they're a security risk. So we're going to go ahead and go with the recommendation, yes. And it's going to be doing this prevention for you by using Group Policy. This doesn't work the same way as your typical antivirus programs work. Okay, I'm going to minimize my browser. And as you can see here, that the policies were created, but they won't uh, take effect until after we've restarted the computer. So I'll meet back up with you after I restart. And I'm going to go ahead and restart right now and see you back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. My computer just restarted. And as you can see, the prevention was successfully applied here. And as it mentions here, it is not necessary for this program to continue running for active protection. So this program will now close. So it works passively. Like I said, it works through group policy. So it's not going to slow your computer by running at all because it's not running. Anyways, we'll go ahead and open it again just so you can see it again. We're going to click OK. And you don't need to do anything here again other than periodically get in here and check for updates. So I would recommend doing this maybe once a week. And when you do, just go ahead and click apply again and then restart your computer and you'll be right back in business again. If you want to know more about it here, you can go to their website or their forums. There are some advanced settings here if you need to uh, get specific with uh, some of the edits here. Uh, I do know that if you use uh, torrents, I've came across one where I was downloading and it was blocked because this program, my policy uh, did do one little block. So I actually had to get in here and go to whitelist a particular program I was running. It was actually pretty easy to do. As you can see right here, I got it in there right now already. Anyways, other than that, it's that easy. I hope you enjoyed the video and you don't ever get infected with the crypto wall variant because it costs a lot of money to get your data back. There's really no way around it. I've been involved with recovering data with crypto wall before helping customers and it's pretty expensive. So keep your computer safe and take care. Bye bye.